to stay a while on the elections because results from the Tachiman South constituency are yet to be declared following confusion that erupted between uh, the two main political party representatives there. In the early hours of Tuesday, the NDC in Tachiman South had tried, tried to prevent the EC officials from presenting or taking ballot boxes to the coalition centre. They had alleged the incumbent government tried to rig the election by mixing ballot boxes with fake ones. The confusion is said to have erupted when supporters of the NDC prevented the presiding officer from declaring the MPP parliamentary candidate as winner. Joint News correspondent Anas Sabet is still in the constituency and reports people are going about their daily activities uh, as of this morning. Let's touch base with him. Hello, uh, hello Anas. Hello, Benis. Yes, uh, it appears the whole country is waiting for Tichuman South results. Uh, but what are you picking from the Electoral Commission on finalizing that matter? In fact, um, <clears throat> the commission had, um, you know, uh, given out what the the guided as uh, uh, in total of the results that. Uh, of the elections that were held. I remember uh, two days ago before the confusion broke out, the Electoral Commission were able to uh, give out the parliamentary results and immediately after declaring the winner of the parliamentary uh, elections, that was when the confusion broke out. That led to the uh, firing of gunshots by the military or the, the security officials on, on, on duty. And that led to the death of some um, three persons, we are told, by the NDC. Uh, as it stands yesterday, the EC came together with uh, the presidential results as well. And then uh, they brought it out or they sent it out to us. I have the figures for the presidential Mm. Uh, and, that of the NDC and the right. MPP. All right, and, I and, have and, the and, and, and as, let me just say, and these are certified results because as of this morning, uh, the EC has put out a statement of the uh, election details without Tichiman South. So uh, these are certified results? Yes, um, it is uh, under contention. It's, okay. it's been disputed. All it's right. been disputed. So, by, so let's hold on. NDC. Let's hold on. Let's hold on till we get certified results. But uh, let me understand how residents are reacting to this. Uh, clear, clearly, it appears uh, the whole nation is waiting to see what will happen in, in Tichiman South, especially for parliamentary. Yes, that's true. Um, for parliamentary, I must say, I heard the... I was in the hall when the returning officer openly declared that the NPP candidate had won the parliamentary elections. Then he was unable to declare that of the presidential. So um, that is what we understand is being disputed. If you come officer, to the Tichiman Township... The returning officer says the NDC parliamentary candidate has won Tichiman South. He said the NPP parliamentary okay. candidate. All right. I just needed to hear that clearly because it was a bit muffled at that point. Well, um, Anas, you spoke yes. to a resident earlier this morning. Let's listen to what uh, that person had to say. Oh, the mood in town is very, very calm. There's peace around. Everyone is going about his work. We don't see or hear any bad thing going on. So that's how I feel Tichiman is. And I pray things go on like this. We all go about our normal jobs and that's all. There are, there are reports that uh, people are free to go out to do their businesses. Do you see anything like that? No, for Tichiman so far, I've not heard anything like that. Uh, that was a resident uh, of, of Tichiman. You heard speaking there to my colleague Anasa. But earlier you heard Anasa, but uh, uh, giving us details of what's happening in Tichiman South. Uh, we still don't know uh, for a fact, uh, having received certified results. And when we do so, we'll let you know uh, what's happening in that particular constituency.